guys and welcome back to my channel. So apologies for not being able to post last week. I was just a little bit sore after having to have my wisdom teeth removed. So I was planning on filming, but you know, after having it done just a few days prior, I was stitched up. It just, I decided to just take it off. But I hope you're all doing well and I'm doing so much better now. You know, I'm not swollen or anything like that. So I'm nearly back to eating normally, but we're still just at like the 10 day mark. So I still can't eat everything. So I'm having to be be careful because I am stitched up so obviously if I eat the wrong things I'm gonna rip a stitch but no I'm pretty much back to normal now so thank you for all your lovely messages and in today's video we're going to be trying to remove the rust on some of my hammers so I don't look after my tools that is for sure and I'm gonna try and be better this time round so you can see these are my hammers they're extremely rusty they're in it in need of a lot of TLC um, so I've decided to try two methods of cleaning the rust off my hammers if it goes wrong I'll just buy a new hammer and actually lubricate it this time so I don't destroy it with the salt water because that's the key thing if you're fossil hunting near salt water just make sure you put some sort of like lubrication or oil on your hammer just so the salt doesn't kind of attack it or just wash it really regularly I just kind of neglected mine and as you can see it didn't take them long to get like this like this hammer isn't even a year old and you can see She's quite rusty, but I still love it. I still love it, it's gorgeous. So the two methods I'm gonna try are using white vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. So you dilate, dilate, dilute them both, <laughs> wrong word there, um, in some water, and then you let them soak for about half an hour to an hour, depending how rusty they are. And then apparently you can just brush the rust off. Now, I'm no expert on this, but we're gonna do it together. So I'm gonna set up two tubs and soak these for half an hour, and then we can see what we're, what we're dealing with but I do really want to show you guys also my wisdom teeth now I know this could be if anyone's watching this video just wanting to know how to clean their hammers maybe skip ahead and also if you don't like teeth maybe skip ahead like trigger warning here we are just because I know not everyone wants to see this but then some of you probably do because they're massive I never knew how massive wisdom teeth were until I got them taken out my mouth and then I asked to keep them because I thought it'd be so cool to have in my collection like my human wisdom teeth next to all the other teeth I can find of you know other creatures I'm just so strange aren't I right I'm gonna get my wisdom teeth and show you guys but I'm gonna put a trigger warning on the screen so no one I, I don't want anyone accidentally seeing them if they don't want to <laughs> okay last chance to look away and also check out my beautiful butterfly nails that I did but are we ready look at the size of those like I feel like my whole jawline needs to change because these have been removed so they're just they're just massive, it's impressive. Like, why did my body make these if I didn't need them? Like, so chunky. Anyway, that's enough of teeth. I just wanted to show any of you who might want to see it because I think it's pretty cool, but I know not everyone probably thinks that. So let's actually get on to the topic of the video. Okay, so we'll actually move on to the topic of the video now. That's enough teeth, but I just thought, I just had to share, and I feel like you guys are the perfect audience to share that with, but I might be hor horrifically mistaken, and uh, we'll wait and see, but I just thought they're pretty impressive. Anyway, that's enough about teeth, otherwise you guys will get bored. So let's make some diluted buckets of these. So I'm literally just using cooking bicarb and malt vinegar. Well, it's the only vinegar we had in the house, so I was like, that will do. And I've got two tubs here, so I've got one tub. Unfortunately, they're not clear, but what I'll do is I'll put my camera on top of them so you guys can watch, like, as it hopefully dissolves all my rust off. And then I've got a bucket of water here, so this can do one. That should be enough water in each of those. And then I don't really know kind of how much of each to put in so I'm just gonna kind of put it in and just hope for the best and if it dissolves my hammer at least it'll be entertaining so let's have a go I think that's pretty dilute and if it doesn't work I'll just make a stronger concentration solution of it I think and also, if you guys hadn't noticed, my skirt has dinosaurs on it. I got it from Run and Fly. They have like loads of dinosaur print fabric and it's all corduroy. And I'm just obsessed with it. Like it's covered in dinosaurs. I love it. I will link it down below if you guys want to check them out. They're a really nice UK brand. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. I just love their prints. Like their fabrics are just awesome. So if you, and uh, it's for boys and girls. So if you're interested, I'll put it down below. 
so you can check them out right that's one done i should probably have moved you guys closer to this and then bicarb i don't have a clue how much of this to put in let's just sprinkle some in that was quite a lot but i feel like we'll just you know it'll be fine i feel like hammers are quite robust i'll be impressed if i manage to destroy them okay i'm gonna move you guys closer and then let's watch them go in i'm gonna mix the solution a little bit i was hoping for something more exciting than that but i think it's literally just going to be a soak isn't it okay this one needs a bit more of a mix right oh i can use the other end of it ha da, da, da. this is where i find out i was meant to use hot water or something like that do, do, do. Okay, this one doesn't quite fit, but that's all right. We'll just kind of swash it about. So I waited the half an hour and not much has changed on either of the pots. And then I did a bit more research and it turns out I'm not meant to just dilute bicarbonate of soda. I'm meant to make it into like a paste and then put it on my hammer for a few hours. So I have no idea where I got my prior information from. But we're now going to do a paste, put it on the hammer that's had a nice warm up of probably not doing much and see what happens. So I will show you the hammers before I put any paste on. But what I'm going to do is I've just put about this much bicarb into a Tupperware. And now I'm just going to try and turn it into a, a bit of a paste. There is vinegar on this toothbrush, so we might have a bit of a fun chemical reaction, but it should be fun. So how pasty should I make this? And I have no idea if the end result will actually be anything. It's turning into a nice paste. I'm just doing it bit by bit, and then I'm going to put this directly onto my hammer. We have somewhat a paste now, so it kind of looks like this gloopy kind of white stuff right let's move you over so you guys can see what i do next dab it dry and then i'm literally just going to put this paste kind of on <laughs> i feel like i have no idea what i'm doing doing this so i'll be amazed if this actually works i guess i have to do it one side at a time okay so honestly, at this point, I think I need to ask to have my wisdom teeth put back in. I've just realised that it's undiluted vinegar that I'm meant to be soaking my hammer in. So I have literally done both of these incorrectly. So ignore everything prior. Obviously, we've now corrected the bicarbonate of soda and turned that into a paste that is working away over here. And I have done both sides of it now. So now let's actually soak this hammer in an actual undiluted vinegar. I was wondering why it literally was doing nothing. I can't believe I've done that. So I'll just speed up the first bit. I've, for those wondering, it would have been like a wonderful filming montage of like one hour's work of me trying to clean my hammers and nothing happening. But now this is actually how to clean your hammers. So you've seen the bicarb bit. So I've decided at this point, I've made too many mistakes to not. I'm just gonna do both my hammers in this kind of bicarbonate of soda paste stuff that I made because I've got spare and I just think it makes sense otherwise this is just never gonna finish but if you're wondering apparently you can use undiluted white vinegar to soak your tools in it doesn't actually have to be hammers just any of your tools that are rusty and it will help remove the rust um, that experiment could be for another time so I'm just gonna put the paste on my other hammer leave it for probably like two three hours and then we can see if it takes it off I apologize to you guys for not doing adequate research before this video i thought i was so prepared and so ready and i literally got both things wrong like i'm kind of impressed with myself in a bad way so oh look it's already changing color does that mean it's working i don't know if i'm putting like way too much of this on either but i kind of feel like a lot of rust a lot of bicarbonate so i'm gonna leave it here not touch them for a few hours and come back to them and we can see what this bicarbonate has actually done to the rust so I'll see you in a bit. I thought I'd leave the hammers overnight so it is the next day because after getting just about every method of cleaning rust off tools wrong I thought no I'm just gonna let the bicarb do its thing overnight and come back with a fresh brain and hopefully I won't make as many mistakes as I did yesterday um, but I'm not expecting these to come out kind of like sparkly and almost like a mirror that would be ideal you know I'd love that but there's no such thing as doing that but if there is let me know I'd be interested but no I'm just trying to you know loosen the rust so as I use them I can kind of get it chipped off away that type of thing 
and also how to prevent the rust from going on my hammers in the first place. So I'm also going to, once I've cleaned these, sorry, I think there's a massive aeroplane going over my house. We'll just uh, let that one pass. <laughs> Okay, I think it's gone now, it's fine. And then I'm gonna grease them up just to try and prevent the rust from actually happening in the first place. So when I get my new hammer, I'm gonna, you know, cover it in grease and look after it a lot more. That's the plan anyway. Right, so we're gonna brush off the bicarb. So it's, I don't know what it's, this is what they look like the next day. So they're just kind of crystallized with bicarbonate of soda, kind of cool. So I'll flip you guys around and we can see what we've got. Da -da. I can't even remember what these looked like before I started this so I should probably have taken a comparison picture to actually see if I've accomplished anything in doing this but they're nice and clean now this is where we, we're at, so I'm now just going to give them a bit of a dry. See, a lot's coming off, like the colour-wise. So this is what they look like washed and dried after the bicarbonate of soda, and I've got to say, I'm quite impressed, considering I couldn't actually make out any of the writing on my newer hammer, like a lot of the rust has lifted off, like I can actually see some silver underneath there. So I'm quite impressed, like obviously there is still rust. This method wasn't going to necessarily make these look brand new and I mean this one was incredibly far gone. So I'm quite happy with how they've turned out. Now I'm going to prevent them getting more rusty by putting a bit of grease on them, which should also hopefully dislodge some of the rust that's been left. And then as I use them whacking on the rocks, they'll just get better and better. So I probably shouldn't whack them together, but you can see it's not too bad. And look at here, it's almost like back to normal. So maybe with a, if I get scrubbing, like I want to just use sandpaper on them, but I think that's not smart. So no, they're looking good. So let's grease these up. Ah, now you can ki kind of see. So it's got like this weird metal plate in it. So I'm just going to use my tool to kind of, oh God, I'm going to flick. Ooh. Okay, so this is the plate that is covered in grease. Ooh. And definitely quantity of this is probably, you need very little. So I'll just, you know, pop that there. Oh, we're just going to get greasy, it's fine. Okay. So I'm actually going to use what's on the disc. Now do I just literally... Well, there's no going back now just a really good kind of preventative measure if you're fossil hunting near salt water or just water in general for that matter this will just help preventing your tools from getting rusty so and it will also help get rid of any rust that is left on them so it will help to just dislodge any of that whilst you use it so it's kind of like a win-win they'll get nicer as you use them like this is turning out really nice so I'm really happy with this one so that's all nice and greased up and it looks shiny now, it just looks better. So then I'm just going to take another wad and this one's probably going to need like many years of <laughs> whacking what rocks to get any of this rust off. <clears throat> so I didn't get covered in grease like I thought I was going to but this is how they've turned out and I've got to say I'm really chuffed with how they're looking like they're so much better than they were. They're not you know 100% but I mean that is pretty good if you ask me so i am um, i think i'll continue using the bicarbonate method in the future i think it did didn't do a bad job and i mean this one looks much better than it did you've got to understand this one's had a lot of wear and tear on it and no tlc like i have never looked after this hammer so i mean it doesn't look too bad at least it still is the right shape i mean there's a win-win there but Literally, if you've got nice looking tools, just put some grease or lubrication on them first before taking them out to the water. And then they should stay pretty for longer. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this mixed mash of a video. 
I've got to say, it turned out good in the end, but I wasn't so optimistic this morning, you know? I can't believe how many attempts it took me to actually get this right. But I'm so chuffed with how my hammers have turned out. I mean, this one looks pretty much 10 times better. Like, this is exactly the kind of result I was after. And I mean, this other one, considering what I've put this through, is looking pretty good as well. I mean, this is just a well-loved and well-used hammer, to be honest. But I do hope you're all doing well. Apologies for anyone who came to this video to learn how to clean your tools and had to look at my teeth instead. That's just me being a little bit strange, so I do apologise. But I just think they'll look so cool in my collection next to, like, other fossilised teeth. Like, it's just awesome to me. Anyway, look after yourselves. My social media will be down below as well. I'll be back next Friday with another episode and I'll also hop to my plants in a minute so you guys can see how my grass man is doing. If those of you are wondering, for the past few Fossil Fridays I've updated you on how one of my plants is doing with its little grass hairs and I just, I feel like I just want to keep updating you because it's so cute. And I mean, his hair is getting crazy and he's not that bald anymore. I'm really impressed. And this is uh, two weeks since you've had an update. So I hope you guys enjoy. So as promised, here's how he's looking. So he's getting pretty much a full head of hair. You know, still a little bit bald, but overall not too shabby. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.